This film is dedicated to all those who lost their lives during what has come to be known as the Hungarian Revolution. Budapest, 1956. Students march on the capital's parliament buildings. Factories, offices and shops close down as hundreds of thousands join the demonstration. The secret police open fire. The crowd becomes a mob. Budapest becomes a city in revolt. After five days, the Russians, having lost most of their tanks, withdraw from the city. The revolt for the moment is victorious. While the people of Budapest pause to bury their dead, Soviet troops pour into Hungary. Before the fighting is over, the revolution will claim 50,000 casualties. She was very beautiful, wasn't she? Yes, she was. <laughs> Do you remember the night Mama died? Of course I remember. Tell me about it. Daddy, I want to use this in my film. I want to tell about some actual experiences of people who died. Today I was with a woman, and she gave me a photo of her two-year-old killed in the shelling. It wasn't easy for her to tell me about that. Clara, Clara, I couldn't. I bring all that up, no. Thank you, absolutely not, no. You shouldn't be doing this, you know, telling personal stories. That's not history. You are making a film on a historical event, the Hungarian Revolution. You want your audience to understand 1956. Show them the forces that led up to it. Show them the effect and extent of the occupation. Tell them something about 1848 revolution, which was crashed by the Russians also. Come on, Daddy, you know that wasn't what I was talking about. Well, I'm sorry, but I cannot go along with this personal nonsense. And I forbid you to use this picture in your film. I won't have my family brought into this. What do you mean, your family? It's my mother. It's my wife. Give me that picture. Why? You just stuff it away somewhere. Give me that picture. No, I won't. I told you, I do not want my family used like this. Well, then give it to me. Let me have it. For what? Because I like to look at it, OK? Listen to me, Clara. We have to leave our home here. And you must help me by doing just what I say and doing it quickly, huh? 
When your father comes home, we must go away immediately. We are going to live somewhere else, far, far away. We will have a new home, but we will all be together. Do you understand? Of course you do. Now come, give me a hug. November 3rd, Budapest. A tent city awaits its fate. Communications with the outside world are cut. Rumors spread of a massive Soviet troop buildup encircling the city. Hungary's new government has thrown communists out of key positions, ordered Russian troops off Hungarian soil. Free elections are called. Most of the citizens support these developments. A few, convinced the revolution will collapse, secretly prepare to collaborate with the Soviet Union. Others seize this opportunity and flee the country. November 4, 4 a.m. A massive Soviet artillery barrage rains down on Budapest. At dawn, a thousand Russian tanks move in. The final battle of the Hungarian Revolution has begun. Oh, similar. Remélem, hogy itt egy tartózkodás a kellemes, kellemes Érezzük magát. Hónap még tudunk? Igen, van a megyek. Nagyon sajnálom, hogy nem tudok for me today, I couldn't believe it. Marta's little girl. <laughs> Let me look at you. Marta Kishleyan. <laughs> Where is your father? Oh, he couldn't come. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> well, what are your plans? I don't know. How long are you staying? I live in the morning. Oh, no. Oh, I was, I was hoping so much that we could... How do you like to go out with me today? Just the two of us? Of course! Oh, I'd love to, yes! <laughs> I have arranged it. But first I must do my duty to my house. <laughs> Come, you will join me. I must discuss economics a little while longer. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, Professor Albrecht, it's Claire, my niece. I hope I haven't ruined your evening. My dear, you have made my evening. <laughs> of course, my embassy people are furious with me and my hostel is appointed. But I told them I have no choice. My niece, whom I haven't seen for 20 years, suddenly appears, and I should miss this chance. One must not tempt fate. <laughs> this is my car. Oh, it's very nice. Please, I'll open the door for you.
The main thing about her was that she was funny. <laughs> and she was so beautiful, of course. <laughs> Did you know she was mad about the ballet when she was a girl? She wanted to be a great ballerina. <laughs> she was very much loved, you know, by many, many people. Especially my father. Yes, of course. You haven't asked about Daddy. No, I haven't. How is Gabo? He still works at his history? Only at night. During the day, he works in a factory. I again, again. You know, he refused to come and see you tonight. I'm not surprised. Why? Because he's a historian. He lives in the past. But he was married to your sister. I'll tell you something. If he had been with you this evening, I would not have come out like this. I would have been busy. It has to do with Mama, doesn't it? Oh, Claire. That was the most terrible night in my life. I do not wish to discuss it. The night Mama died, you were there? It's getting late. You must come in for a coffee. I can't let you go without seeing my apartment. I've upset you. <laughs> yes, you have, but if you come in for a coffee, I'll calm down. It has been a lovely evening, but I'm afraid... No, no, really, I insist. You must come in. Claire, please. It really is getting very late. I know, but just stay for a little while. Thank you. Come and sit down. Can I get you a coffee or a cognac? No, it's too late to drink a coffee. Just a cognac, please. A cognac? Okay. Bravo. How are you? What about you? Get out of my house. I'm leaving immediately. It was not my idea to come here. No, I want you to tell me about Dear, Mama. Dear, when you come to Budapest, we'll have lots of time. We'll talk then. Budapest? She's going to visit you in Budapest? And why not? So you can fill her with lies? Gabor, please. What have you been telling her, huh? All about 56 as a civil war? To come on his party leading heroic workers and peasants? Get out no! here! No! Leave it alone. Let it rest, right? Well, you can do that because you know what happened. Tell me and then I can let it rest. And then I can get on with my life. Daddy, I found out tonight that I have cousins in Budapest. I'm not some freak after all with no mother, no brothers, no sisters, no aunts, no uncles, no grandparents. Just one father won't tell me anything. I see. He has been telling you about his family. Yes. Did you, did you tell her about Marta? Yes. Marta? Did he tell you that he has a blood on his hands? That's a lie! Gabor, how can you say such things? You turned us into the secret police. No. Ah, to prove your loyalty to the party. You're insane! You went over to the Russians. They wanted the name. You gave them mine. No! You came to our apartment. It's not true. It's not because. The Igos! <laughs> Janusz, Janusz, what have you done? Where is Gabor? He's out fighting. Why aren't you there? It is over, Marta. But the Russian tanks have smashed the revolution. The regime will be reimposed. You gave our name? I gave Gabor's name. I had to. You know what they are like. You betrayed us. 
Will you stop with this and get out of here? Oh, no. I will wait for Gabo. You're crazy. The secret police will be coming. And what about her? Well, if you want anything, I will. Okay, let your things calm down. We'll take care of ourselves. Go away. Go away! You came to our apartment that day. I came to warn her. Yes, to warn her that you have betrayed us. I thought you would have escaped already. You even tried to take my daughter. She wouldn't leave, and she wouldn't leave. She wouldn't leave without me. Why didn't you leave sooner, Gabor? Ah, oh, you do not scurry away to protect your own family in the middle of a revolution. That was the price I paid Janos. I lost my wife. I have lived with that for over 20 years. And you? How have you lived with the price you paid? Daddy. Daddy. She was my wife. Do you think I didn't care about her? Marta, Marta, oh. I can tell you this. If I had known what, what it would be like to, to live without her, I... For all those years, I... 
I wouldn't have had the courage. I, I wouldn't have gone back to the fighting. I, <laughs> I would have been the first Hungarian to cross the Austrian border. No, no. Yeah. No, you did the right thing. You had to stay. Yeah. That's what your mother would have said. Let's go home. Yeah. Yeah, let's go home. Let's go home. November 4th, 1956. A thousand Russian tanks move into Budapest where they pulverize the city. Within a few weeks, 200,000 Hungarians leave their country. They leave their homeland with a profound despair that not in their lifetimes will the dream of a free Hungary be realized. With family ties poisoned by war and betrayal, they take with them a bitterness that will be passed on through succeeding generations. This film is dedicated to all those who lost their lives during what has come to be known as the Hungarian Revolution. Budapest, 1956. Students march on the capital's parliament buildings. Factories are...
She was very beautiful, wasn't she? Yes. She was. <laughs> Do you remember the night Mama died? Of course I remember. Tell me about it. Offices and shops closed down as hundreds of thousands joined the demonstration. The secret police open fire. The crowd becomes a mob. Budapest becomes a city in revolt. After five days, the Russians, having lost most of their tanks, withdraw from the city. The revolt for the moment is victorious. While the people of Budapest pause to bury their dead, Soviet troops pour into Hungary. Before the fighting is over, the revolution will claim 50,000 casualties. <laughs> 